Not only is Disney and Lucasfilm working on Star Wars Episode 9, but also a new Star Wars trilogy and two live action TV series just for starters. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, a lot of people have been wondering of the future after Star Wars Episode 9. And today, we really wanted to focus in on the new Star Wars trilogy, also known as the fourth Star Wars trilogy by the creators of Game of Thrones. Now, what's really interesting about all of this is that we have been learning more about the other projects like the Mandalorian, the Cassian Andor series, and of course the Clone Wars Season 7. So right now, Disney, they are very busy on producing content that will come after the final installment of the Skywalker Saga. Now, with the fourth Star Wars trilogy, a very interesting angle that they will be bringing in there is that a majority of the cast members in the fourth trilogy will apparently be actors from the Game of Thrones series on HBO. Now, why would they really be doing this? Well, I think it all has to do with the creators of this trilogy being also the creators of Game of Thrones. It just seems to fit in here. Now, I don't know about you guys, but we've been seeing this constant trend ever since The Force Awakens of introducing actors and or actresses from Game of Thrones into the Star Wars films. So they did it with The Force, the Force Awakens. Uh, Gwendolyn Christie was a great example. And they also did this even all the more so in the Solo A Star Wars Story movie with, of course, the actress of Kira, who is Amelia Clark, and so on and so forth. So with this fourth trilogy, they will be doing this at a maximum level of including a lot of cast members from Game of Thrones. Now, I don't know about you guys, but do you guys think it's a good or a bad thing that they keep on adding in more and more members from the Game of Thrones series into the overall Star Wars franchise? It seems like Disney and Lucasfilm really see the ones involved in that series that belongs to HBO, of course, as very talented and have a lot of experience. A lot of people are thinking that maybe Kit will actually be a part of this new Star Wars trilogy, which honestly, I could see that happening. I would not, you know, deny that. I could actually see that happening. So with Star Wars as a whole, the fourth trilogy is Disney's main focus right now as far as films go, way over Ryan Johnson's new trilogy. Now, Ryan Johnson's new trilogy won't even go into production until he's done with his current project, Knives Out. So we got a ways to go until we find out exactly if Ryan's trilogy is going to be canceled or not. As far as this fourth trilogy goes, I think that this is yet another hint that we could also be heading over to the Old Republic. For some reason, whenever I look at the Old Republic era, I just think about medieval times. I think about Game of Thrones almost in a Star Wars version of it. It's kind of like the medieval times of Star Wars as a whole. So I think that when we're looking at the Old Republic era, there's a lot of potential that you can really grab from there. Introducing new Sith Lords, introducing Sith Lords from the EU and Legends material, new Jedi. I think that's what the fans need right now is a lot of Jedi and Sith lore and just doing something that we have never seen before when it comes to those two sides of Star Wars, the Jedi and the Sith. Bringing them together into a Sith war I think would be amazing. So looking at everything here besides episode 9, that's the next project that I honestly am very much interested in. The fourth trilogy coming after the final sequel trilogy film that is currently being directed by J.J. Abrams. So I would really love to hear your opinion about all this below in the comments. Do you think that adding in a lot more Game of Thrones actors and or actresses into the fourth Star Wars trilogy is a good or a bad thing? And of course, the other thing is that primarily they want to film strictly in Europe for this new trilogy. Now, we've been hearing that they want to shoot over in Prague for the fourth trilogy, as well as other areas within the Czech Republic, and even over in Germany as well, such as, of course, Munich. So there's a lot of great and interesting new locations that Disney and Lucasfilm are willing to explore for this new trilogy in order to give it a unique and very original look to the Star Wars franchise. You know, if you look at the prequels, you can kind of see how it has its own look, right, when it comes to all the different buildings, the architecture, just everything, the types of characters that we see. Same thing goes for the original trilogy, which is more simplistic. And then if you look at the sequels, that too has its own look. In my opinion, 
the sequels kind of have a more Earth-like look to them. You know, the sequel trilogy, a lot of the planets are more Earth-like, in my opinion at least. Especially the casino city of Canto Bight, it's basically Las Vegas. And especially the horse track, that was basically Belmont. So, you can kind of see how they're really kind of get, getting a lot of inspirational pieces from Earth in the sequel trilogy. That's just how I see things. So, the fourth trilogy kind of trying to give it a new look. I think that's a great and fantastic idea. But anyways, guys, I would love to hear your opinion about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.